There's nothing I love more in Yu-Gi-Oh than Shield. There's also nothing I love more than spinning wheels. So, I combined the two to create the Wheel of Sealed. The Wheel of Sealed has every Yu-Gi-Oh set on it, and each week myself and Gamer Guy will spin the wheel to build our own box of 24 booster packs consisting of four different sets. Each of us will have our own spins, so the sets we have to build with won't be the same as each other. The winner of each week will get to keep one of the cards they pulled, and the loser will get to spin to open three packs of a random tournament pack that helped them in the next episode. Every week, the sets and decks reset, and we spin all over again. Welcome to the Wheel of Sealed! Alright, so back at the wheel. Uh, let's not waste any time. Uh, as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to spin this wheel, get four different sets, make a box out of it, six packs of each set. Let's waste no time. Let's see what our first booster pack's going to be. Uh, what, our, what our first set's going to be. What will it be? Only the wheel knows, and you will know right now. So we got a Cosmo Blazer. I'm actually not too familiar with this set. I'm not too much in it. I'm going to assume there's some Cosmo stuff in it. I feel like it's a fair assumption. Let's see what our second set will be. Now, if we do spin the same set, that counts for 12 packs. That counts for another one of the sets. The likelihood that that happening is very slim. Uh, and we got Cross Souls. I actually don't know what the set is. I've never heard of the set before. Uh, I think it's a side set, maybe? Uh, probably, uh, probably a little before my time. Alright, set number three. Let's see what we are cooking with. Hopefully we get something good. Let's find out. Swoon Beetle slowing down. Looks like... Ancient Prophecy. Is this an old set, I think? I think this is like a... This might be a DM era set. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, and we're down to our last pack. A lot less Link Heavy in this one. Coming at the last week. Uh, so that might help our advantage. I didn't really go on Link Monsters last week. We're gonna end with... Generation Force. I thought for a second it landed on Dual Overload again. Which, we having another chance to get that Kalki Fiber or Anaconda is super good. Unfortunately, we didn't. We got Generation Force instead. Uh, I'm actually not familiar with like almost any of these sets. So this will be an interesting opening. Well, here we are losing episode one. But that's quite alright. The water strategy may not have gone the way I anticipated. But I feel like I'll be able to bounce back and win today. As you can see right here on the wheel, we got various packs. Uh, tournament, OTS, Astral, I see. Uh, I think I see Turbo Packs. We got to open three packs of one of these sets, so let's just go ahead and just spin and then see what we get. Alright, Champion Pack 2. Let's just go ahead and load up the website and see what we can pull. We get to pull three packs of Champion Pack 2. Let's see on the first side. Uh, ooh. All right, we got two more. Let's see what's in the second pack. Ooh. Oh, this is actually pretty interesting. We got ourselves a Terraforming as well as Karibo and Thunder Dragon. That could actually be very useful for the upcoming packs we might open. And the last pack. Oh, another copy. Another copy of Thunder Dragon as well as a Book of Taiyu and another Terraforming. This is actually some pretty good pulls I got here. I wonder if I could, I, hopefully I could have a field spell that I can use the terraforming with. As well as using the thunder dragons to their uh, potential since I pulled two copies of it. Alright, let's go ahead and start going spinning the wheel for my main four packs to pull for today. Okay, here's the wheel. We got four packs and let's just go ahead and spin and see what we can get. Ooh, Blazing Vortex, okay. Um, I think I could probably use something for with those sets of cards there. I'm gonna go ahead and begin spinning the second pack. See what we can get. Raging Battle, I, did we just pull that from the, is that, did we get this from the last episode? I, I don't, think so though regardless i'm very happy we pulled that one we still got two more let's uh see what we can get Ooh, king's court okay and then our last pack let's hope for something very interesting legend of blue eyes come on okay it's not legend of blue eyes High Speed Riders, okay. Uh, let's just go start opening those packs and just see what we can get. Alright, so starting with Cosmo Blade, looking it up, there's nothing really in this set that's too crazy that I popped out to me. Bacon Saver could be potentially good. Uh, coming from Duel Links is kind of a free 
save, you know, save some bacon. Uh, I don't know what else is really good on this set. Well, maybe we'll be able to make something. Maybe there's something I missed. Let's start by flipping some stuff up. I believe there's something to be excited about. I think this is when uh, uh, Hollows run every pack. Get a Spike Seal with Chain, which is actually not the worst card in the world in this kind of format. A lot of Hazy Flames. Maybe there might be a Hazy Flame thing in here, potentially. Pack number five, the Big Cattle Drive. We got a Bacon Saver. It is only a common, and since we're only pulling um, six packs, our common pulls won't be great. Coming up on the last pack for uh, Cosmo Blader, uh, Blazer, excuse me. I saw an XZ monster. Also got another Fire for Mason Tenki. We got a Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Tiger. We got two hollows, and they're not guaranteed. So this card's XZ, uh, XZ Summon. You can set a Fire for Mason Trap, and you can negate the effects of all effect monsters that aren't Beast Warrior. I don't think we have enough 10 year cards, but if we get some Beast Warriors from the other packs, there might be some Beast Warrior tragedies going on. Now we're moving on to Cross Souls. Uh, so this set, uh, I believe, was the first one we had, like, the Ghost Skull Hand Traps. Because this is when Ghost Ogre came out, which, if I recall, is the first Ghost Skull Hand Trap. I could be wrong on that one, but uh, I would love to get a Ghost Ogre scoring a Galaxy Cycle and also not bad. It's good generic spell and trap removal is always good. Uh, let's see what we can get, though. We got a Ghost Whale, Ghost Wing Synchro Dragon. I don't think we can make this. Oh, we, we could. So just generic level 7 Synchro. Uh, just going to negate any level 5 or higher monster effect. We have a Synchro. This is not a bad pickup. Okay. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. We got two Clear Wing Synchro, synchro Dragons. I can't even speak right. We got both the Ghost Rare and the Secret Rare version. That's insane. Uh, I don't know how many tuners we have, but uh, if we have some tuners, we, we gotta make room for this. Moving on to Ancient Prophecy, which uh, I was wrong when I first spit in. This is not a DM set. I think I was think got it mixed up with Pharaonic Guardian. But uh, there's a few things we can get. We can score an Ancient Fairy Dragon, which would be really, really good. And the card's banned for a reason. Also, just a Convit is uh, just a good card. Fee Special Summon never hurts, especially in... I don't think we have any sets that have Link Summoning in this opening, but it's just a good card to have. Uh, so if we don't get anything better, that might be a card we keep if we win this week. Let's just start opening packs. Are you serious? Oh my god, we got the Ancient Fairy Dragon, and it's a Ghost Rare. Not that rarity matters in an online simulator, but oh my god, we got an Ancient Fairy Dragon. That's... Insane. Okay, I don't know what can top uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon. I feel like it's all downhill for me on this pack. Coming up on a Lant Ancient Guardian pack, and we are getting, uh, I don't, th we got another Blackwing Tuner, which tuners are definitely not the worst thing to go. It's got a Fossil Dig. All oh, right, we've come to the last one, Generation Force. There's a lot of pretty good cards in here. Uh, Levier would be a good level three XZs to get. There's a few XZs we can get. Uh, let's just start busting these packs open. So we opening up right with a super rare. I forget if this is when um supers were guaranteed or not. We got an absolute crusader as a super rare. Uh yeah, that's nothing special. But we did get a goblin bird, which is actually in this format not the worst. In Stumble Summon, you can special summon level four level monster. No other restrictions. That can help us um go in the synchro place, especially if we have a level three tuna. I'm not sure if we do. I know we have uh, the black ring which is level two tuna. Uh, but maybe we can make something work. We'll see. We're coming up on our last packs here. We got another Ultra. What is this hollow look, dude? We got a Wind Up Zen Meister. I don't know if this card's any good. I wasn't around doing Wind Up. Yeah, that card's not bad at all. Uh, Satline's not amazing, but I mean, it's a generic Link 4XC. We'll take it. Ultra Rare. Not a fantastic Ultra. We also got another Goblin Bird, which could be good. By Geki Bottle. So this cut's kind of interesting. So it's kind of like a delayed right Geki. It's interesting. So you get, every time a monster declares an attack, it gets a counter. And at four counters, you can destroy all monsters on the field by sending it to the graveyard. It's very slow. In this format, it might be playable. Maybe in the side deck. It just kind of depends on if Gamer Guy has good removal or not. All right. Our last pack of the opening let's see what we can get okay no, no last hollow luck really good hollow luck like ancient fairy dragon and two of the uh the yellow synchro the crystal wing or whatever it was uh i don't know if we have enough tunas though that's gonna be the issue uh we'll, we'll hope we get some tunas we'll have to see if you have level three tunas we're in we're in, we're in hot so we're gonna go ahead and toss it in the dueling book see what we can do with it all right it's time to start opening some packs so the first packs we're gonna open is blazing vortex 
I did a little bit of some research on what's included, and it's mostly the uh, pot card, Pot of Prosperity. I want to get my hands on that card in particular, as well as um, I think Tr Trishula, the ice, uh, Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Fairy is in this card, in this uh, set too. Let's go ahead and just start opening the packs, pack number one. Okay, some interesting stuff here still not what i'm exactly looking for i'm still trying to get pot of prosperity still nothing and then for the last one uh yes exact is that arm dra yes arm dragon exactly what i needed so far not so good i guess we're gonna have to move on to the next set the next set is king's court this is actually the main set i want to try and open there's a lot of great cards in here I saw uh I saw lightning storm in there. I saw I saw a bunch of warrior cards as well as, you know, the many supports for, you know, Queens, Kings and Jackets tonight. But the main cards I'm I'm trying to get my hands on is definitely Rhoda as well as Lightning Storm and Pot of Duality. Since Pot of Pros since I wasn't able to get Pot of Prosperity. All right, let's start opening first pack of King's Court. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, number 39 Utopia. Okay. That that is actually pretty useful and world legacy guard dragon. Another copy of Utopia as well as Utopia Ray Re and Res Rescue Rabbit. Yeah, you know. Okay. Well, at least we got more Utopia, I guess. Uh, another Rescue Rabbit, but I don't think we have enough normal monsters. Oh well, let's uh, move on to uh, high speed riders. Okay, uh, high speed riders. This is a good amount of cards. I would like to get my hands on here the mostly uh the psychic type monsters as well as uh stuff like MST and Capulse. I think MST is actually common in this set, so it will be much easier to get my hands on a full playset of that. So let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, opening the first pack here. Oh, okay. We got ourselves compulsory evacuation device. That's good, as well as pot of duality and a psi frame gear alpha. That is pretty. That's a pretty great start. Let's go ahead and move into the next uh, set here. Oh, there is our first copy of Mystical States Fight Foon, as well as Crebons and Red Dragon Archfeed. Oh my! And oh my god! I didn't even know Psy Frame Gear Gamma. I think that card just got limited, if I remember correctly. I believe that card's limited in the OCG. It is good to see that card. Let's go ahead and open the next set of pack. There's another Mystical States Typhoon. And Goyo Chaser, um, and another copy of Crebons, another copy of Compulse, and oh, we have one more pack. This has already been pretty good so far, so let's just see if it gets any better. Uh, it was okay. All right, let's move on to the last pack, which will be Raging Battle. Our last pack here is Raging Battle. Um, there's actually not a lot of cards in this set that I'm very interested in getting. Uh, some cards I remember in that when I was looking through is mostly just like one for one and maybe snowman eater. There's a <laughs> well, there's Kalut. That's um that good old progression series stuff right there. Let's go ahead and open to the next set. Uh well there's traps done, I guess I could and a copy of one for one. Uh though I don't think I have any level one monsters to use it properly. Well, I mean, okay, Evil Thorn, <laughs> maybe. An another copy of Evil Thorn, okay. If we can get three copies of Evil Thorn, I will definitely play one for one, three copies of Evil Thorn. Last pack, Evil Thorn? Ah, oh, that sucked. No three copies of Evil Thorn. I'm very confident with the pulls I got, especially from High Speed Riders and King's Court. So let's go ahead and uh, start making our deck. All right, here's a list. It's um, it's a little little wonky. Uh, so we have obviously super good level seven synchros. We have the clearing synchro once per turn, pretty much shuts down any level five activations. Plus, just good stat line. Plus, ancient fairy dragon. Uh, we probably won't use too much of the level four effect. Or we maybe we will. We have a, a decent bit of level fours actually. Uh, we can't use the field spell, but even then, just like three thousand bodies, really good, especially in a format like this. It's gonna be hard to get over. We have the Bullet of the Firefist Tiger King in here. I don't think we can actually make this. And we also got a Wind Up Zen Master. If you ever get two level fours on the field, which is definitely possible. So we got Bacon Saver. Uh, Duel Links Players Rejoice. This card was a. I think it's called Semi Limited in Duel Links. At least it was when I played, I believe. 
Uh, it's just kind of a two-body uh, negate attack. Uh, we actually have a lot of cards in the gate. Like, we have Bacon Saver, Half Unbreak to kind of protect the monster. A Poseidon Wave, another just uh, attack in the gate as well. Slip of Fortune to kind of keep monsters on the field. Because we kind of leaned heavy into Tribute Summoning. Which could be a mistake. I don't know, because... Like, if we do nothing but a Tribute Summons, what are we going to do with that, you know? So, we play in the Hazy Flames, kind of all archetype. We got two, we got three Sphinx and three Cerberus, and as well as a Hazy Pillar for that. Uh, so, we can uh, summon both of them, I believe, off of this. Because, yeah, you only want this Tribute. So, both of these can be summoned off of Hazy Pillar if you do draw into that. As well as a Cerberus can just be drawn by itself and can add all the cards. Great Emperor Penguin, this card is not great, we just wanted to fill out level 5. Speaking of level 5s, we have Abyss Stingway. It cannot be destroyed by battle, actually, which is really good. Uh, as well as a level 5 that we can synchro with, with our Mistral the Silver Seal, to go into our level 7 synchros. And uh, Silver Seal is also not the worst, uh, it kind of helps give us a little bit of protection. It's not fantastic by any means, because you can kind of control when that attack damage is going, or Gamer Guy can, rather. Uh, so not fantastic. Garbage Lord is kind of a free body on the field. Um, also level 5 can go into the Synchros. Drill Barnacle is kind of a good card. Uh, can attack directly and it gets a little boost. So if we can get this card going, especially since we have so many of the um, Negate Attack cards, we can really get this thing boosted up to really high amounts. Because the attack gain is permanent, it's not just for that one damage step. Let's have a Spicy Little Chain. That's not a spectacular card, it's kind of a simple pump. Spring Goose. The effect's never going to come up. It's just a body with good stats. Double 5 for Synchros. Super be Samurai Big Waraji. I probably butchered that name. Uh, we can special summon it potentially if we have no spell trap cards in the grave. We have two of them. We have three of them in the pool, sadly. But could be good. And we have, of course, our MST we got for winning last week. Just good, powerful spell and trap removal. Generic. Super good card. Uh, and then our side deck, little tiny. We're going to... Onigami combo in case a uh, gamer guy is playing with uh, some XZ's monsters that need uh, taking care of because especially with the sock last week uh, that's just a way to just force uh, take off uh, material. I couldn't think of the words. Let's go my Geki bottle. If gamer guy doesn't get good spell and trap remove, we can put this in. Just kind of a way to clear out the board. Uh, his board to be precise is just a, a very very slow red Geki. But, uh, so, and then we also have, uh, the Heraldic Beast Basilisk, I almost forgot about this, which, uh, it's kind of like a man to bug in a way, but we can choose the targets if it's face, if we attack into something. Alternatively, if he attacks into it or something, it will get destroyed. Also, the Leotar, uh, it's possible this card might not be great, because there's a chance that Gamer Guy gets nothing but normal monster sets and, like, DM error. But more likely than not, will be, uh... Making use of that effect, so he'll have 2,000 attack pretty much most of the time. The Pull Magician, nothing fantastic. We can kind of just peek out. It's just a decent stat line, 1,800. We can kind of peek, see what his back goes. And Sunlight Lunicorn is just, uh, we don't have, we're not playing any equip spells, so we have no reason to play. It's just, it's just a decent stat line. Level 4, and so we have a decent, also the Goblin Bergs. We have, a uh, Goblin Bergs, which can give us, uh, easy rank 4 access, easy, uh, Potentially get a tuner on the field as well. A few things you can do with Goblin Book. It's not a fantastic card, but I mean, it's probably good enough in this kind of set. A uh, format, not set, excuse me. Uh, so, this is a deck running with this week. Uh, I'll toss it over to Gamer Guy and he can talk about his deck. <sighs> what, what, what can I say about this deck? This looks absolutely terrible. I, I, I thought I had it. I thought I had it in the hand, but then I, I, I thought I had this deck like in the bag. I thought this was going to be easy. But then. I discovered just one tiny flaw with the cards I drew. All the Psyframe cards. I do. I don't even have the normal monster Psyframe driver, so I I mega Omega screwed and resorted to this terrible Speedroid Synchro deck with warriors in it. Uh, I'll just go over. I'm just gonna say the cards. It you. It's already a mess. One copy of Card Card D. Two copies of GB Hunter. Why do I have this? It's a warrior. Two copies of Hush Psychic Cleric. This is just to recur all of my three copies of Krebons as it's going to be my main tuner. One copy of King's Knight. One Karibo. One copy of Red Resonator. Why do I have this? It's a tuner and it's also having a really decent effect to special summon a monster from my hand. 
three copies of Serene Psychic Witch. Also, just another way to bring back Krabons. One copy of Speedroid Double Yo-Yo. One copy of Speedroid Manko. One Red-Eyed Dice. One, uh, two Takam, uh, oh God. Taka Tomborg. One copy of Tri-Eyed Dice. Two copies of Tri-Eyed Dice, excuse me. One Synchron Resonator. Two copies of War Rock Orphis. Once again, this is only on here just because it's a warrior. One copy of Big Bang Shot. Two copies of Book of Taiyu. One copy of Supremacy Berry. This is just for life point gain, nothing else. Two copies of Mystical Space Typhoon. One copy of Pot of Duality. One copy of Resonator Call to bring back to bring out the two Resonator cards I have in my deck. One copy of Shock Surprise for my Speedroids. Two copies of the Warrior Returning Alive to Compulse. One Psychic Overload to return any Krebons as well as, of course, uh, Serene Psychic Witch and Psychic Cleric. One copy of Red Cocoon for my Synchro Monster and Trap Stun. For the extra deck, we have one copy of Goyo Chaser. This is just for a quick and simple Synchro Summon. We got one copy of Red Dragon Archfiend as well as a copy of Nova Dragon. I doubt I will get Red Nova Dragon onto the field, but just in case, I will have it on here. Two copies of number 39, Utopia, as well as Utopia Ray. I doubt I will use Utopia Ray, but just in case it's available, I will use it. And of course, two copies of Steel Star Regulator as my Link Monster. Oh, I just I just wish I had Cyframe Driver. This deck would have been perfect if I had at least like two copies or one, even one. One copy of Cyframe Driver, uh, this deck would have been completely different if Cyframe Driver was pulled from High Speed Riders. Let's just hope that I, I can somehow pull something. I doubt, but let's see what happens. Here we are, episode two of the Wheel of Sealed. I won the last one. Uh, I'm not at all confident in the deck I have today. Oh. I, it's okay. I don't blame you. I'm not as confident as I'm. I'm just about as probably worse uh, in confidence as you are right now. <laughs> I uh, I pulled a code. I built around it. I might have been a bad idea, and by might have been, I mean it's definitely a bad idea. But I mean, we'll see how it plays. We'll see how it plays. Well, I would love to explain my deck, but I, it, it will pretty much give it away if I do. It, I'll, well, let, let's just go ahead and try and get to the duel. I'll explain after. It's it's complicated. Okay, let me just run this rock, paper, scissors real fast. It's that Dang it. easy. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Okay, now I don't actually know if my deck wants to go first or second. No, go first, please. I, I insist. Um, I think I want the card. I'm going to go second. Uh, okay, all right. I see you have an extra deck. That's a little concerning. Well, I mean, you have extra deck cards, too. <laughs> True. But you have three more, and that's intimidating. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... I Could I... Yeah, uh... do, you have a, uh, do you have a turn one extra deck play? I'm a little scared. I don't want to do... Okay, I'm going to set one. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to uh, normal summon red resonator. Okay. Activate... Effect to special summon one level four or lower monster from my hand, and I will special summon a uh, speedroid. Oh my god, <laughs> you want a Tomborg? <laughs> Taka Tomborg. Okay. Then I'm going to le synchro level five. Okay. Into Goyo Chaser. And then I will set one more card and pass. <laughs> Go. Well, at least it's not a Goyo Guardian. Uh, okay. I wish I had Goyo Guardian. <laughs> So the Goyo Chaser is definitely not the worst. Um, okay, what can I do here? If I had a tuna in my hand, let me tell you. <laughs> it's uh, okay. Right, I'm going to set two. Okay. And I'm going to bring out a <laughs> to Drill Barnacle. <laughs> Okay. Then I'm gonna go to battle, try to hit indirect. Yeah, sure, go ahead. I'll take the 300. Nice. Okay, so he will gain a thousand attack. And I'll just pass. Alright, I'll draw. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and set one. Then I'm going to. Eh, not sure. Let's go to battle. Uh, attack into your drill barnacle. Okay, I'm going. Do I want to activate this? This is such a bad Negate card. attack. 
God, if I mean, kind of. I yeah, let's do it. It's slip of fortune. So what is uh, this? It's a really <laughs> bad negate attack. So it negates the attack, and my monster gets banished until the next standby phase. Negate, negate the attacker from play the attack until the next standby. Okay, uh, I'll go to. I'll just end. Go ahead, buddy. Okay, I'll go to main two. My barnacle will come back. Uh, I main one. I I kind of really wish. Oh, I could do that. Oh, actually, doing it for each warrior. Oh, I need percent goes. Okay. Yeah. No, just, don't worry about going. He's fine. He's he's not gonna go anywhere than that. <laughs> Uh, I okay. I have a play. I don't know if it's a good one. It's greedy. I, Let me see. I don't know if I should get. It's a good greedy. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it, man. Do it. I'm gonna activate Abyss Stingray. Uh, actually, I uh, I respond with Trap Stun. <laughs> okay. Um. Don't even think about it, man. Well, I've kind of got a fucking trap stun. Is this like a hollow? I, I, I think it was a. I, I, <laughs> oh trap stun. God. It's really, it's a really good card, isn't it? it yeah. That's a good effect. <laughs> it's not bad. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, that puts a hamper on things. Uh. But I can do three hundred damage. Oh, that's attacking direct. Not. I don't want to. I don't want to cast into Goya Chase. It's fine. I'll take another three hundred. It's fine. Right. Get a boost. Go to main two. I'll set another card. I'll pass my turn. All right. I'll draw. Uh... Trap stun. God. Okay. <laughs> Trap sets a card. Uh, anything on standby, by the way? Uh, no, I have nothing on standby. All right. Uh, well. Really nothing I want to do right now. I guess I'll go to battle. I'll just go your chaser attack drill barnacle again. Uh, connect. That one, that one will connect. All Take right, awesome. Minutes. I will go to. Uh, I'll just go ahead, buddy. Okay. Begin. This is gonna be very interesting throughout the rest of this duel. Uh, this would have been really nice to have last turn. Um. Uh. Activate Abyss Stingway? Stung, stun Gray? That's all. Uh, go ahead. You're fine. Okay, so he, he makes it out. I will go to battle and try to attack Goyo Chaser. I will... Uh, nah, actually, no, that's fine. Go ahead. We'll both monsters crash. I will say, if this makes a difference, if it's it can't be destroyed by battle if it's someone this way. Oh, okay. is it okay if I can respond then? Yeah, if, if you... I'll, I will... You, we all had the Yu-Gi-Oh blend of not reading. I will. I, I didn't even. I, I just thought it's special summons, and that was it. It just becomes a beat stick. No, <laughs> it has not an amazing effect, but an effect. Uh, I will then. Add, I'll activate compulse, targeting a beast. <laughs> <God. laughs> got a compulse. Okay. Well, that's not the worst. It's annoying, but not the worst. Okay. Like, compulse trap stun. Like you're gonna just drop a fucking pot of green on me. Um. I'm going to set two cards. I wonder what one of them is. Could be anything. Uh, how much do I value this? Do I? No, that's bad. I'm just gonna pass. All right, I'll draw. Ooh. Well, I don't really feel like I should do anything right now. I guess I'll just go to battle. Uh, go ahead and. Attack directly. Okay, I will activate the stun ray. All right, go ahead. All right. Uh, I will just, I will not attack the stun ray. Okay. I will go to main two. Um, I will set a monster. Okay. And I will end my turn. All right. Let's start. Stand by main. I'm going to normal summon. M Milla, the Temple Magician, which when it's summoned, I can target a set card you control and look at it, and you it's spell speed for for spell oh. trap cards. Uh, uh, which uh, what? I get info. I, I don't think I need to worry about the fence position monster. Let's see what the the back row is. Uh, it is supremacy berry. Supremacy berry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm okay. <laughs> this is certainly a sealed only uh, a wheel of seal mats. Yeah, all right. Well, they both crash. You will be fine. I will say the baby coming off of trap stun compulsion is a little anticlimactic. <laughs> I know, I don't. <laughs> I, the card you destroyed is Speedroid Red Eyed Dice. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, I'll go to main two and I'll just end my turn. Alright, I will draw. Um, stand by main. Uh, Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna activate Shock Surprise. I'm gonna bandage two Speedroid monsters from my graveyard, then target that many cards on the field and destroy it. So I'm gonna target your. Uh, actually, I'm gonna target your Abyss Stun Ray here and your set card. Okay, I must say this card definitely both shocked and surprised me. <laughs> uh, they're, they're both gone. Ah, oh, okay, that's good. Uh, let me banish my cards. I will banish the two speedroids that are in my grave. Sucks. All right, I will then, <laughs> I will then normal summon card card D, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll activate its effect to tribute. Then draw two cards. Then it becomes the end phase. <laughs> I used to uh, play this card when I was bad at Yu-Gi-Oh! and Exodia. Good times. <laughs> it's a good times indeed. All right, you go straight to end phase. I'll end. All right, I will draw. That's not nothing. I'm going to activate Hazy Pillar. Uh Oh, you have Hazy Flames? Okay, go ahead. I do. I'm going to, with the effects of Hazy Player, normal summon with one less tribute to bring up a Cerberus, so it won't have the, it'll have the 2,000 attack. Okay. Uh, only effects when it's destroyed, and let's get in for the 38. I will activate Speedroid Manko when an opponent's monster declares a direct attack. While this card is in my hand, I can special summon in attack. And if I do, I get to change all monsters to uh, face to not face down, in just a face up defense position. Okay, uh, that's a speedroid card I've never seen before. Uh, okay. <laughs> and then we on the seal will play any speedroid card. Okay. <laughs> you got me there. Uh, I don't think I want to do much. Well, I can put this back to attack. See, didn't attack. Uh, I'll just end, I guess. Uh, okay. I will draw. Oh, that's actually not so bad. Go to standby, main. I'm just hoping you don't have a monster with more than 200 attack, so I can keep my surface. Oh, uh, I'm. I, I hate to break it to you, bud, but that's probably gonna. <laughs> it doesn't Wait, have to. Well, it's not what I wanted, but I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Speed Red Manko in defense mode. Then I'm going to special summon. Uh, speedroid, uh, speedroid, another speedroid. Since I control a wind monster, I can special yeah. this card. Uh, special summon this card from my hand. God, I cannot talk today. <laughs> I... Attack a Tomborg. Classic. Okay. Get my attack a Tomborg. I will go ahead and actually tribute summon this speedroid Minko to tribute to bring out War Rock Orphis. Oh. And then I will oh, go to battle. God. I will have. Attack a Tomborg, attack... Oh, whoop, I did not want Tak and Tomborg to attack. Not right now. <laughs> Actually, no, yeah. Actually, attack uh, the Cerberus. Sorry. Okay, so Cerberus gone. It's effect will trigger. I can add a Hazy card. Uh, Alright. I can add Cerberus. Of course, do I want it to? I'm going to fetch me a Sphinx. Okay, uh, I will then have Orphis attack your Mila. Okay, so that's 200, 300. I'm good at math. Yep, 300. And this one needs I to will go ahead and and go ahead and make your move, I guess. Okay, well, that's true. That's... I'm kind of having the issue I just feel like I was going to have when I built this deck, and it's here in full force. Um, That's... Honestly, fine by me. You keep doing that. <laughs> I'd love to see it. I think I just have to wall up here. I'm gonna pay 2,000 life points to special summon garbage lord. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. It's, it's, uh, very representation of my hand right now, and I will pass. Cool. I will draw. Oh! I don't like that laugh. I don't like that one bit. I will activate Big Bang Shot targeting <laughs> Mardor Rock Corpus. Big Bang Shot. Okay. God, these... no, you gotta think. <sighs> You gotta thank the, the the bonus packs for for my laws last episode to give me a big bang shot. Yeah, the bonus pack. Oh, that actually matter. Damn. Well, I'm maybe I'm gonna draw on my MST and it's gonna feel so good. <laughs> I go to battle. Uh, I will attack tr Garbage Lord. You will take one hundred as it has piercing battle damage. Hundred whole damage is taken. And then Taka Tomborg attack directly. Yep. I go to main two. I will. Go ahead and pass. Go ahead, buddy. All right, let's draw. <sighs> Big bang shots a really good card. I. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Um, how do we proceed here? I'm gonna normal summon a hazy flame sphinx. Uh, okay. And I'm going to use its effect, declaring monster. Okay. No, my tuna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll get to bring back the Cerberus. Okay. But that's uh, probably the worst possible mill I could have milled. Your black wing tuna <laughs> car. I uh, I really needed that. Uh, but I will tack over tack a Tomborg at the very least. With okay, that's uh fourteen hundred. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. All right, main two, I will pass. If only I pulled a hazy flame, Megzi. <laughs> I'll draw standby main. Um, there's no reason to go crazy yet. I'm doing fine right now, especially with big bang shot. It's not a. It's not a bad. Card to have. I will go to battle. I will uh, target your Sphinx, actually. Okay, so 25 against four is at 600. Sphinx right. is gone. I'll go and uh, I'll pass. Go ahead, buddy. All right, MST, one time god. That's not MST. Eh, it's actually not the worst. Not ideal, but definitely not the worst. I'll set a card. Is it Dice Food? <laughs> if only, dude. All right, only. I draw. Stand by main. This would have been good earlier, but all right, I'll just set a card. I will then go to battle and have uh, Orphis attack your Cerberus. So I'll take one hundred. I'll trigger Cerberus with Cerberus. I'll. Uh, wouldn't it be five hundred? Oh yeah, you're right. I forgot. Because because a big bang shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you add another Sphinx. Okay, go ahead and lose four hundred. Thank you. And, uh, well, uh, I'm fine right as I am. I will just pass. Go ahead, mm. buddy. Let's draw, and... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I think <laughs> the play is to just pass on this. Really? I believe okay. this is the correct play. All right, I'll draw standby main. Well, I'm going to normal summon Serene Psychic uh, Witch... You gotta. Okay. This should be it. If I'm gonna have a uh, serene psychic witch attack directly. I will respond by activating abyss stung gray. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So the boy's out. I'm moving over All there right. actually, so I know the spot's taken. All right. I will have. I guess I'll have Orphis attack it, despite it will not be destroyed. So it's six hundred. So pretty much. I have like a. You're on a clock. I'm on, I think, a, a four turn clock. If I did that, map. four or five turn clock. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm looking. Uh, all in. All right. Go ahead. Five turns to draw the MST. Let's do it. Five turns. Let's see it, bud. Okay. I should probably. This is just to let. Okay. No, I, I should have done this sooner, but this is just to let you know. Okay. I think genuinely. <laughs> My only out is MST to that. I don't think a hex you have a you out. have a good amount of turns. What a fantastic amount. I'm kind of 
I'm in a weird limbo because like I can't attack because if I draw a Misty I need to advance the board today. But like you could have some weird trap card that can fuck me if I attack. So I, like, I did have become pulse and trap sun. Yeah. So like you have some older sets and some old sets have some weird shenanigans that can go on. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to normal summon a Sphinx. Let's go to okay. combat. Let's attack into the, the Sabine Psychic Witch. All right, that'll be six hundred, I believe. Uh, five hundred. Five hundred. Okay, I will activate effect. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm doing. I will go ahead and banish. Uh, I will banish Krebons. Got a Krebons. It's so. <laughs> God, your pulls are insane. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Um. All right, main two. I will set uh -huh. a card and end my turn. All right, I'll draw. Oh, oh that's. I like this. Uh, stand by main. I will set a card. I will then, uh, go to battle. Uh, also, uh, you'll get your uh, Krebons back. Oh, oh and this standby phase. I thought it was the uh, after this turn. No, just during the next standby phase would be yours. Oh, okay. Uh, I will gladly take the Krebons then. Uh, it's special uh, summons, not goes to hand. Oh, it's special summons? I'm, yeah. I I uh, uh, don't read cards. <laughs> no one does. It's okay. That's why you know what well, legit Yu-Gi-Oh players. Well, I'll leave it like this. I'm fine with this for now. I I'm will not. go ahead. <laughs> I will go to battle. I will attack the Sphinx. Okay, so that is 100, 200, 700. Yep. Sphinx is gone. Go to main two. I will set one more card and end my turn. Right, I will begin. God. I will just pass. All right. I'll draw. Main one. Okay. Uh, this should be it. Compulse targeting your Bistungre. <laughs> yep. And then I'll activate MST targeting your set card. <laughs> You've got an MST too? <laughs> was that from the tournament packs? Tell me. Uh, no, it was not from the tournament packs. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you were like telling me in the call, like, oh, this is a weird deck. You got so much good cards. I was talking to, oh my god. Look, this deck was a 10 times. I'm just, look, I am very lucky right now. You just, oh, that is very good. All right, this this should be it. Game, go yeah. ahead. To... You got it. Game two. Let's go. Yeah. Fucking MST. That's what I needed. <laughs> I'm post to MST. <laughs> oh my god, that's insane. All right, game two. <sighs> MST compulse trapstone big bang shot. Oh my god, it's insane. Okay, um, I think I still want to go second. Okay, bud. Uh, let's hope this hand was... Uh... Oh, well, actually, this is not bad either. Uh, I will stand by main. Uh, I will activate Pot of Duality. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I... <laughs> Sir, why I not? Will... Excavate the top three. Ooh, oh, that's okay. good. Okay. Oh, oh, oh Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> this is this is insane. I I don't think there's a world I can win this with the card you, you pulled. Oh my God! What do you want? What which card do you want? Do you want? Do you want which pick your poison? It's ultimately your choice, but I would like you to take the Menko. I will gladly just um. I will add. The Krebons. Well, that makes sense. I'll put the rest to the deck and I'll shuffle. I'll shuffle twice. Just in case. And twice for good great. luck. All right. <laughs> yeah, twice for good luck. I will go ahead. Uh, well, since I can't really special summon, I will just do a good old classic T set and I will end my turn. All right, let's draw. Standby main. We got a weird All right. one. We always got weird ones. Yeah, well, this one's like especially weird. Um, 
it's probably better than I don't wanna play any of these cards. I can't I can't just I can't even open forward, can I? I'm going to special summon a super heavy samurai big Waluigi. It pretty much does nothing. Except okay. special summon itself. And I'm going to set two in my scales and end my turn. Alright. I will draw I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll gladly set another card. Okay. Uh Oh, I, I, not yet. It's not, not ready yet. Uh, uh you know, actually, <laughs> let's do it. Uh, I'm going to flip summon GB Hunter. GB then, Hunter. Then I'll no normal summon another GB Hunter. Double GB and, Hunter. And I'll rank four. Oh, okay. Let's see what's... Into still... number 39 Utopia. <laughs> what a fuck... <laughs> <laughs> this like is the, that was <laughs> you had the best RNG like I thought I was lucky when I got the MST last week you got like I you got this all you, you okay okay King's Court King's Court baby King's Court <laughs> okay I will have it attack your super heavy samurai okay I'm going to do I even want to do that no you know what? I'll let it die. All right, cool. Uh, I'll go to main two, and I will end. Go ahead. All right, I will draw. <laughs> Number 39, Utopia. <laughs> Jesus, okay. <laughs> oh, lady. This hand is not good, especially staring down a Utopia. <laughs> oh, man. God. Um, I think I'll just set a monster, and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. Stand by main. Okay. I will set a card. Yep. I will... Hmm. Let's see here. No, uh, let's just go to battle. L l l let's attack into your face now. What is it? Okay, this was a goblin bug. Ah, you, you didn't have any other monster in your hand? <laughs> and when I do, just none that are level 4 or lower. Okay, I see. That's good to know, though. I will go ahead and just pass. Uh, I don't even know what I want. A card? <laughs> That's definitely not a card I want. Uh, I'll activate Hazy Pillar. Uh, I will chain MST. Okay. Sorry. Uh, well, I assume you want to talk. You could talk to Set, but I assume you want to target that. I I would. Yep. Yeah, I'll just pass. All right. I'll draw. Okay, that's interesting, to say the least. I'll just normal summon Crebons. Let's go ahead. Okay. Uh, he, uh, no let's way. go to battle. Yep. Yeah, I will have Utopia attack directly. I'll take 25. And I'll have Crebons attack directly. I'll take the 12. Uh, okay, I'll just pass. Go ahead. All right, let's draw. Bring out a Drill Bonicle. Uh, go ahead. Um, move fine. the combat, try attack direct. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Take the 300. Right. So gain a thousand, I will end my turn. Alright, I'll draw. Oh, oh, it's time. It's I time. Don't like, I don't like that, the sound of that. I will normal summon Speedroid try I dice. Okay. I will then... Uh, wait a minute. Oh, no! Oh, this, uh, I can't. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, I'll go to battle. Uh, Utopia attack, uh, dr Drill Barnacle. Okay, I'm going to activate half unbreak, targeting my Drill Barnacle to make it indestructible by battle. Uh, go ahead, that's fine. Okay, and Drill also out. any battle damage you take from attacks involving that monster is half. Is half, so I attack you with 2,500 against 13, that's like 1,000... 200, so it should be 600. Alright, 600. Um, I'll go to main two. I will end my turn, unfortunately. Right. Let's start my turn. That. Oh my god, that's so big brain. Okay, I'm gonna go to combat. Okay. I'm gonna attack directly. Alright, go ahead. Actually, I'll actually have to beat Utopia's effect on this one. 
Okay. Yeah, one Detach one negate. That actually puts. I kind of. I kind of forgot Utopia had an effect. Yeah, uh, had a negate. Yeah. That actually puts a very large hamper in what I wanted to do. By a well, very good. significant margin. I'm going to. <laughs> Normal summon a bacon saver. And I will end my turn. And so that's all you Duel Links players out there. Let's go Duel Links. Uh, let's aw, oh, stand by main. Alright, uh, it's time to, let's time, let's do this. I'm going to special summon a Talking Tomborg. The then right. I'm going to normal summon Speedroid Red-Eyed Dice. Okay. And then I'm going to target, uh, hang on, I, I'm, I, let me, Think real quick. Let me think real carefully <laughs> about what I want to do. Okay. Okay, I will activate Speedroid Red-Eyed Dice's effect. When it's normal summon, I get to target a Speedroid monster, except Red-Eyed Dice, and declare a level from 1 to 6, and it becomes that level. Yeah. I will target Tuck and Tomborg, and I will make it uh, level level 5. Okay. I'll make it level 5. Sure. And then I will Synchro level 8. To Red Dragon Archfiend. Red Dragon Archfiend. Okay, that's. I will. I will then compulse chain compulse targeting both your monsters. Okay. In response. <laughs> oh, what? What? What do we have a response? What is it? I'm going to activate B Battle of the Elements. Which, uh, we all send monsters we control to the graveyard, so they only control one attribute. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. Alright, who are you sending? I... Okay, well, one, I... one goes to grave, one gets compulsed. The question is, which one do I want in the grave? Bacon server, obviously we get the effect, but if we set the card, we can, uh, have two preventions. I wanted to go hard right now, though. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I got Red Dragon Archfiend out. I was like, I know something's going to happen. I need to wait. I need to. I thought about socketing this when the Speedoids came out, but I was like, I'm going to hold it. Let's let's send the Drill Bonicle and Bacon Save will get compulsed. Okay, so I can only control one attribute, right? Control yeah. one monster with. I could, so wait, it's one monster with one. A, is it just like one a, one monster on the field that has just one attribute? Pretty much, you can only control one attribute. So like either you can only control dark monsters, you can only uh, control light monsters. Uh, I will control dark monsters. So I will send Utopia and Red Eyed Dice, and then the compulses will go to grave. And then I admit the feet because that's still lethal. <laughs> I could have lived if I sent Bacon Saver in hindsight. I'm going to draw my card. I don't think it would have mattered. Yeah, that wouldn't have mattered. I drew a stung wave. Wow. I got extremely... Also, I had Big Bang Shot in oh. my hand. I had <laughs> so, a... like, just, in, just in case there was something. So let me show you my hand. I had Performer Valve Spring Goose. Uh-huh. Performer Valve Spring Goose. And a Hazy Fame Sphinx I couldn't sell because you MST in my... Haze, my, and my uh... Hazy pillar. Hazy pillar. I, I had to MST it because you like if you bring up pillar, I know for a fact you're gonna use it to special summon a hazy flame. Exactly. Yeah. It wouldn't do anything major in that game state, but it would at least give me a, a slight wall. But uh, yeah, yeah. My so pretty much my pulls were really bad, and it was basically all built around trying to get a ancient fairy dragon on the field. Oh. Really? Okay. The issue is, uh, I only have two tunas, those both being the black wing, and since it's a level 7, I had to play level 5 monsters, so I put a bunch of level 5s in here. So I was worried I was going to draw into them, In both games, I constantly drew into them. Both games being the Spring Goose, I think I had two in my hand both games. <laughs> Though, honestly, I don't think, like, with the pulls you had, like... Crebons, two compulses. I kind of gloss over that. Two compulses. MST, Pot of Duality, Utopic, you know, Utopia, Utopia, Big Bang Shot, MST. Like, I don't think there was a wool I'd be able to okay. win this. So, Big Bang Shot came from Champion Pack 2. 
That's what I got from mm. my uh, spins. Uh, the so I thought my deck was gonna be bad because uh, I because one of the pull one of the uh, sets I got was high speed riders. Mm -hmm. I was very excited. I got I think I got uh, I got red dragon archfiend from that. <laughs> I think I also right. got I also got MST from it. <laughs> I also got compulse from it, and I also got some Cyframe gear cards, and that that was my plan. I also Jeez. got King's Court, so my plan was. Okay, let's make a warrior psychic synchro deck <laughs> with XC support because I got two copies from Utopia from the King's Court set. Oh, yeah, two. There was this. Yep, there was. Yeah, I got two. Co uh, Jesus. I got, yes. I, yeah, here's another. Co I had another copy of Utopia. <laughs> God. Yeah, I. There was just one problem. I did not have the Cyframe Gears normal monster, Cyframe no, Driver. Uh, no driver. At all. So I was like, oh no. So I then had to use the, the speedroid cards. Like it, this was I, speedroid cards were not going to be in this deck at all. It was going to be a bunch of warrior monsters and a bunch of cyframe cards, and uh -huh. then I would use it to synchro and XCs. Yeah. Uh, you already saw a pretty much I think all the key cards from my uh, speedroid. I actually got other cards you didn't see. It was like double yo yo. Double yo. -yo. Oh okay. <laughs> That's it. Uh, the rest are other speedroid cards you've already seen. Uh, let's see what other key cards in here that were pretty good. Uh, I did not have a lot of warrior monsters. Uh, that. <laughs> let's see. Let me. Uh, I had that. I had the, Orphis. I had King's Knight, and uh, Queen's Knight supposed to be in this deck, but I can't find it. So. <laughs> <laughs> see, we had it. I maybe got lost. I mean, for my deck, you pretty much saw every card I had. I also had a Leotard just for a body. I had a few XZs. They weren't good XZs, but I had them. And uh, my <laughs> only way to uh, remove uh, monsters was uh, this parabolic, this weird chicken thing that uh, it will destroy a monster <laughs> that battles. So pretty much this was an MSC, but basically my only outs to the last one. And quite frankly, Pretty much your entire deck. I like I said, this this deck was something I was not expecting to pull a win from. I thought you were gonna mop the floor with me with this deck because it was rushed after I realized I could not use the Cyframe cards. I mean, I, who needs good monsters when you have two Compulse, Hero. Trap Stun, Part of Duality, Crevons, Utopia, like. <laughs> and a Kuivo, for good measure. Yeah, Why yeah. not? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Yeah, this deck's just insane. And, I mean, <laughs> you get to keep a card out of it. Uh, you got to have a decision. Like, you can take the MST, but like, you have all the good cards. Like I do. I, I would love to keep an MST, but then there's cards like Trap Stun and... <laughs> yeah, like uh, Trap Gun. Compulse is really good. Yeah. Like, Crebons isn't even that bad. Like, Crebons is also really good. Like I would so also love to have Crebons for a decent tuner. Oh, man. Oh, that's going to be really tough. There you have it. That's episode two in the books. I think this duel was maybe faster than the last one. I would actually, I honestly don't know. But, uh, <laughs> there was, I there's just no way I could win. That. That's, that's been crazy. But that's the way the wheel goes. Yeah, wheel sealed's crazy, man. Yeah. You get, you get, you get bad stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, I two owed you, you two owed me. We have the tiebreaker who's going to f take the official lead in the series going in 1-1. De All right. Definitely going to be me, for sure. Yeah, I mean, if, you, <laughs> I, if you get the spin here this week, probably. Uh, it's like you got really good spins. I got really good spins in the first episode, but like there were one cards I can do much with. This one, honestly, I kind of got like cornered into playing tribute monsters because i got no other good pulls like hazy flame was like the only coherent thing i got so i was like i mm -hmm. guess i just need to play into hazy flames and tributes which i did not work out at all i like, when i made the, when i got the pulls and finished the deck i'm like this is gonna end terribly but i'm gonna try my best and hope he got worse pulls than me and you clearly you very much did not but, I mean, I get some tournament packs. I mean, we saw they made a difference this episode. Maybe they'll make a difference this They episode. did. Let's see. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> see you again next Tuesday for the next episode of The Wheel of Sealed.